So this uh, this video we are going to record to install dlib which is one of the very most important dependency for face underscore recognition package which is available online for python and um, this is basically uh, using python 3 so wherever you can see i'm using pip it's P pip 3 which is uh, like pip for python 3 <laughs> The, really, the recent version, the, this today's version right now we're dealing with is something 10.1 something so that is uh, is what needed and above three lines those are basically needed when uh, these are like dependencies for dlib plus face recognition library cmake is really one of the really good tools and then if you talk about there are uh, some tutorials which are available online um, OpenCV itself have given one of the tutorials where this says that use virtual environment I'm not a big fan of virtual environment when I talk about this setup because there are a lot of other modules which are um, which have been using um, on, a, on a native uh, environment like it's already built on Python 3 so jumping them to a virtual environment would be a big pain for me right now so I'm not going to do that so if you want to install dlib and face recognition using some virtual environment and then OpenCV has given a really great tutorial and you can refer and use it but <coughs> for now we are not going to do that and right now these all commands are already because like I did a setup and already using it yeah that was C matrix I love that thing and like it comes in auto start when I start my terminal yeah that way so as you can see right now these all commands are already been run the one command which I'm still worried about is, is dlib sometime it froze my terminal initially I was referring other documents also like how uh, OpenCV itself have done it um, the guy who created face underscore recognition package he also have installed dlib duh but then the way he did it I don't know how it got work for you for him for me it doesn't work at all so I try to do a lot of time like what all things need to be done and going through a lot of documents because of that so resultant i got to know that this would be enough so we just uh, complete the dependencies for small drivers and all that thing numpy again i can tell you numpy is quite a bit efficient thing as comparison to other packages which provide um, listing and all that so actually if you talk about numpy uh, you won't feel a difference if you are dealing with small um, small mathematician formulas like multiplying of metrics and all that thing you won't feel that much of difference but when we talk about like live feeds that I'm gonna give uh, that I'm gonna give using this webcam of my laptop like detect my face right now kind of stuff wow I was really worried about running that so it doesn't freeze my terminal so maybe congratulations for that I almost <laughs> need to do a hard shot for a one time and that was actually my fault because there were some dependencies which were not installed and then this pseudo pip3 install dlib took a really wrong long time to perform it so it got freeze that too I was running some backend script also so yeah be sure about that don't run anything in the backend or under process small processes which you are using system is using is obviously understandable but don't push it more to that because sometimes yeah it do a problem that to my laptop is almost four year old that would be a possibility causing this issue and this is the last thing that we need so as I say like I've already installed these things so there won't be a big problem um, some may say why don't you simply go to this thing jump directly to this and 
delay would be already installed because it's just jack this thing that if the delay is there or not it will be one of the thing here I'm really not able to see that wow congratulations yeah delay so it's used to cross like that that if delay is there or not but then if you don't install dlib using these commands the same thing will happen as which I just said your terminal will get freeze cause you need to get it from a link then build it and then run it that would be a big thing to do it's not an easy stuff to do so please be sure install dlib first then go for face underscore recognition and before dlibs obviously OpenCV is needed in your system please install OpenCV so hierarchy is OpenCV dlib and then face underscore recognition then jump to your coding before that don't go for that that would won't be a good option for you to do so that's all this is how you're gonna install dlib once it's done you're good to go